everyone, Ms. Kaylin here. I hope you had a great day and I have a story for you tonight. And just like our story time on Tuesday morning, tonight's story is about a small animal that you might recognize as a mouse. And this book is called Mouse Was Mad by Linda Urban. I wonder why Mouse is mad. I don't like feeling mad. Do you like feeling mad? No. I hope he can figure out something that will make him feel a little bit better and not so mad by the end of this book. Are you ready to find out what happens? All right, here we go. Oh goodness, Mouse is really mad. Look at that. Here we go. Mouse was mad, hopping mad. Do you think a mouse could hop really big or maybe just hop really little? Really little, right? Hop, 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 hop. You look ridiculous, said Hare, and Mouse stopped hopping. Let me show you how to hop properly, said Hare, who truly was a hopping whiz. Hop, hop, hop. Mouse tried to hop like Hare. Nothing doing. Mouse hop, 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 flop, splish into a mucky mud puddle. Ugh, yuck. Now, Mouse was really mad, stomping mad. Do you think a mouse can stomp really big or just really little? Probably just really little, right? Stomp, stomp, stomp. Oh, you call that stomping, said Bear, and Mouse stopped stomping. Stomping done right should result in the shaking of trees and the rumbling of the earth, said Bear, and Bear stomped. Stomp, stomp, stomp. The trees shook and the earth rumbled. Mouse tried to stomp like Bear. The trees did not shake and the earth did not rumble. Mouse stomp, 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 flomp, splish into another mucky mud puddle. Ugh, yuck. Now Mouse was really, really mad. He was screaming mad. Do you think a mouse can scream really loud? No. What do you think a mouse scream sounds like? Maybe like, like that? That's hardly a scream at all, said Bobcat. And Mouse stopped screaming. When I scream, you can hear it echo throughout the woods. And Bobcat, screamed to prove his point. And it echoed and echoed and echoed. Mouse opened his mouth wide and let out the loudest scream he couldn't manage. But no echo. He tried arching his back like Bobcat, but he lost his balance and fell splosh into another mucky mud puddle. Ugh, does he look still mad? Yeah, he's still mad, isn't he? Now, Mouse was really, really, really mad. He was rolling around on the ground mad. Have you ever been rolling around on the ground mad? What do you think a mouse rolling around on the ground looks like? Like that, a little bit. Oh, pull your feet in, said Hedgehog, and Mouse stopped rolling. The best rolling is achieved when the body is a perfect sphere. Hedgehog tucked in his nose and his feet and his hands, and Hedgehog was a perfect sphere. Sphere, not spear. Mouse tucked in his nose and his feet and his hands, but he was not a perfect sphere. He was close, 
he pulled in his tail and rolled around and around and around until sploosh he was it landed in another mucky mud puddle and this one was the muckiest mud puddle of all Ugh. does he still look mad yeah now mouse was really 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 mad he was standing still mad mouse did not hop he did not stomp he did not scream or roll on the ground he stood very very still can you stand stand super duper still like mouse good job Ooh, impressive said hare what control said bear are you even breathing asked hedgehog and mouse took a deep breath and he let his breath out and bobcat heard air whistling through mouse's nose but he did not see mouse move at all inspiring said bobcat and bobcat stood very still he breathed deep and tried not to move. Can you take in a deep breath like Bobcat? <gasps> and let out your air. Hmm. Let's see. Your ears twitched, said Hare. Ooh, let me try. But he could not keep his tail from wiggling. Bear tried, but when he breathed deep, <gasps> Oh, the trees moved and the ground shook a little. And Hedgehog came closest, but even he could not keep his bristles from bristling. They stood together for a long time, breathing and trying to be super still. Can you take three deep breaths with me, just like our friends? Are you ready? Here we go. Breathe in. And out. And in. And one more. And stand super duper still. Standing still. Good job. And then Mouse realized he was no longer mad. Look, is he smiling? He is. I feel better now, said Mouse. You look better now, said Bear. But you need a bath, said Hedgehog. Good idea, said Mouse. Splash! This time, did he land in a mucky mud puddle? No. Where did he jump in this time? His bathtub. That's right. Now he's all nice and clean and happy. Doesn't he look happy? There you go. The end. And that is the end of Mouse Was Mad by Linda Urban. I guess Mouse only needed some time to breathe and be still for a little while and he felt better. Sometimes if you're really, really mad, all you need is to find a nice, quiet place to sit and just breathe and be alone for a little while. And you'll feel a lot better afterwards. But that's all the story I have for you today. But I did want to teach you guys a goodbye song that I like. And it has lots of animals and animal actions in it. And I want to see if you guys can do it with me. Are you ready? It goes like this. See you later alligator after a while crocodile give a hug ladybug blow a kiss jellyfish see you soon big baboon out the door dinosaur take care polar bear wave goodbye butterfly and that is all i have for you today or tonight and um, I will be back next week with some more stories. 
Good night, everyone. Good night. Bye. Thank you for listening.